Hello and welcome to another Division video. Yeah, it's a while ago since I uploaded the last video where I commented from my site and now it's a good point to do it again. I think 1.8 is here not that long ago since I started and tried some things out here. And yeah, the first look, it's really awesome. And uh, the most visited place you see right on the back there, not yet anymore. But at the beginning there were so many people just standing there but i think they have the same issue like i have now they wasted already all their phoenix credits on this little station here the optimization station where you can increase the stats of your gear but i think all of you know this already so on this little video i will just show you what the first things were i did on 1.8 and what are the things you should look at and yeah from my point of view are pretty important. So as I guess most of you spared up some uh, exotic caches, I personally opened them already all to see what I got from. I just have some weekly asylum caches and of course on this one you get some exotics as well. And while I'm talking I just opened some of them to see if I have luck or not probably to get another new exotic weapon. Not so far. Yeah, this is the one I really want, Golden Rhino. Heal, yeah, I got them already, but pretty nice. It's a new one, and another Barrett. I got so many Barrett's, but it doesn't matter at the moment. So the first things I did here is was not opening the caches, because some of you, I guess, are already full on Division Tech as well. 4,000, as you see, I wasted some of them already to maximize some of my gear sets, and our this is the first thing you should do. So choose the gear set you play the most or you like the most and then before you optimize it you have to do one more step or st yeah one more step. You have to check all the gear stats if you want to use them or not. Yeah as you already know I guess something changed and the thing that changed is the scaling from the stamina so you get more health points from it. And as you see here, this is my conventional tactician build. And I do have 290k toughness. So it's pretty high for a tech build, I would say. And I changed already something. And uh, the main thing I changed to this one is, as you see here, I do have as a major stat on my chest piece, enemy armor damage, not longer health. So the toughness, it's pretty high. It's as high as before with my a uh, more kind DPS build or conventional build and as you see the scaling is really incredible so you this is the the change I did especially for PvE of course because yeah you have now enough toughness and you can go for more damage instead and this is the change I did I will do of course a video and explain the changes in more depth but not at the moment I think it will be a short video for you just to show the stats I did. But make sure that you have the right stats on your gear before you go and maximize it. And yeah, it's no problem. You can still change the gear after you maximized it, but you have to maximize the stat again. So you waste a little bit of Phoenix credits. And if you have done this, then just go to the optimization station and just for one example, you see here all the green bars and the orange kind bars and all the stats are orange you can increase so just use it like this one here and you see all stats increase together as you see here almost maxed out as uh, maxed out skill haste ammo and enemy armor damage not that much do it one more time and you see so you go even higher and you see the score of your gear gets higher as well so that's why you have higher stats now, not longer 256 is the highest gear stat. As you see here, it's not min-maxed, all of them. So you can reach, uh, I think, 290 with a classified or 280 or something with uh, uh, conventional gear, let's say it this way. So you can get even higher stats. But these are the three steps you should do. So first of all, go to the op optimization station and optimize the gear, but before you do that, control quickly if the stats are the right ones you will have on your gear and after you have done this then optimize it and if you have optimized it and you're low on phoenix phoenix uh, low on div tech then just open all your exotic caches because then you get even more uh, division tech out of it 
and yeah that's quite a lot i think about yeah 25 to 35 if i'm right out of each cache so then you can optimize some more gear and of course weapons as well to do more damage and have a increased gear that's really awesome i tried it already out in the dark zone to farm some division tech yeah i still i really want to maximize all the gear i have or at least the one i play the most and of course looking forward to the next global event and also thinking about which gear sets will be the best one to do this and of course maximize these gear sets first a second thing I will show you is this one here. So if you will go to skirmish, you can log in on this spot as well. So where you go into last stand, you can go to skirmish as well. And of course, uh, underground, I will do a round underground today, of course, too. There is some changes as well. I will try out the new directives, the hunters there, and all the things you can get from the hunters, like the chance of exotics, the classified you can get from it, and the vanity items. So that's the second one I will show you. Then the third one is right on this map on the mission overview. As you see here, there is a new weekly assignment, the classical one, as you know already, I guess, the survival one, the underground, this is new. So you can do now a, f a weekly assignment cache two in underground, and you have to complete the four things on the left side, as you see. That's really awesome and i like it really much because you get more reward out of it and the uh, main reason for it of course is to to get my underground commendations done that's the main thing and okay i see it just now <laughs> they added some new commendations here really nice really nice and you see skirmishes here west side pier is here outbreak i'm not sure why i don't have all of them i did it already but funny yeah, probably they put it out new because as you can remember outbreak the first one you get the mask from the leaderboard so it could be that you they will repeat the first global events and you can have a chance to get the masks as well as you see here because i didn't finish it but i'm sure i finished it as the global event happened yeah but it's pretty fine and as you see here underground have had some new commendations as well uh, knowledge is power, collect a total of 100 idle intel in the underground, complete underground, uh, that's a previous one, this one is new, okay, bull, looks nice, meth with the bull, okay, really nice, so they added new commendations as well here in the underground, decent, mm -hmm. combat, there it looks like they add some new as well, um, complete progress, here it is, long strike almost done you hunt me i hunt you okay progress underground progress resistance kill five hunters in a survival hunters in resistance and hunters in underground and then you get a mask oh look at this stigland the mask you don't see it that exactly but i think this is the hunter mask oh my gosh i have to hunt for this one definitely Definitely, Hunter Mask, great. Or this, oh, okay, this is another one. Kill a total of 10 hunters in underground, survival or resistance. What the fuck, I did this already? Okay, uh, but you have to do more of them, I guess. 5, 10, 10, 10, yeah, could be about 50 hunters. Oh my gosh, this mask is awesome. Hunter Mask, two of them, I think. But this one looks more cool, in my opinion. Doesn't matter. It's your decision. But yeah, new commendations. Awesome. I really enjoy to do new commendations. And there's a reason to play more survival as well. Because then you can get the mask. And just to show you here, <coughs> the last thing I'll show you to, to you on this one. There's a new encrypted cache mark too. So you have the chance to get new vanity items. And yeah, you see I have still some keys left. And just for you, I will open five of them. I will do the other ones later. But just to give you an impression. Key fragments. Okay, this is new as well. MC Club collection. As you see there, there's a new vanity collection. And if we equip, or if you have all of them, then you have some new vanity items as well. Uh, this one. Shoes. Yeah. 
Doesn't matter, you can check it out by yourself, but as I said, just five for you. All the guys that watch the stream, uh, that stream the videos, and I really appreciate it. And thanks on this part to you for support all the time. And yeah, I really do appreciate it. And I hope I can count on you in the future as well. well and yeah, if you like this video, please don't forget to give this video a like. It helps me a lot and helps the channel grow and subscribe if you haven't done it already and leave a comment down below. I would like to hear, and yeah, here's the second one, Urban Messenger Collection. You can get out of it, just check it out by yourself. And yeah, just leave Let's a comment down below. I would be really interesting to hear from you if you want to see doing s me to do some special videos, guides, build videos uh, in the future about 1.8. And if always possible, Let's as you know, I will do this for you, of course. So this is the fourth one, I guess. I didn't count, yeah, but 61 should be, yeah. And another jacket on this collection, as you see here. Well, looks not that bad. MC Club jacket. I think I will wear it. Looks pretty nice. <coughs> and the last one. Let's give it another Just try. for you. So let's see what we get out of it. But no emote, unfortunately, but always key fragments. That's kind of stupid, I think. You I think you just get instead of a, a double one, you get the key fragments, but where's the difference? Yeah, doesn't matter. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> these are the three, four points I wanted to show you. Yeah, where you can log into Skirmish, Underground Changes then the, the vendor up here, the premium vendor, then the things you have to do first, in my opinion, on the optimization station with your exotic cash, and yeah, five points, and the new uh, six points, and the new weekly assignment underground, and of course, at least, last but not least, the new commendations, and the hunter mask you can get. Oh, I'm uh, so hyped about this. I think this is one thing I will farm for f first, and optimize the gear, of course. So then I really hope you enjoyed the 1.8 as much as I do and as I said don't forget to give this video a like, leave a comment down below what you would like to see next from me, a guide, new guides for legendaries or incursions or build videos, just let me know in the comment section and as I said I will do it if always possible. So have a good day and happy farming for Division Tech and optimizing your gear. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.